The latest VRFL Blender Update 2 of version 7.2 brings some interesting stuff with it, from realistic fur to AI-driven material generation and upscaling. So as you can see, this release introduces smarter, and I would say it brings more flexible ways to turn your ideas into high-quality images with less effort, generally speaking. So let's see what you will get. One of the coolest additions is the AI Enhancer, which acts like a smart post-processing filter to add extra details and realism to your renders. So, on the fly, it can automatically refine things like foliage, people, and terrains in your scene. Basically, those background or secondary elements, making them look more detailed, without having to re-render or manually tweak them. You can even target specific bits, say a character's clothing or a patch of grass, for fine-tuning so everything stay consistent and sharp. On a side note, it's a beta feature tied into Kion's cloud collaboration, but it literally gives your scene a nice polish by filling small detail that save you time in the long run. The AI upscaler is a huge time saver too when you need high resolution images. You see, Instead of rendering a giant 4K or maybe an 8K image from the start, you can render at lower resolutions and let the AI upscaler boost it to 2x, 4x, and even up to 16K resolution while preserving all the sharp details. In practice, this means you can take a quick HD render and turn it into a crisp 4K resolution image, and you can do that with one click, and V-Ray promises no weird blurriness. It is part of the Kios Cloud surfaces as well, and it effectively sharpens textures as it scales up, so your final image kind of look like it was originally rendered at higher quality. As you can imagine, this can save you hours of rendering time, since you are avoiding re-rendering heavy scenes at ultra high quality resolution. In addition, V-Ray for Blender now has an AI material generator, and this one is really exciting, and it feels a bit like magic for creating materials. Basically, you feed it a photo of a real-world surface, things like a snapshot of a cool fabric, or maybe wooden grain, brick wall, etc., and the AI will instantly turn it into a ready-to-use PBR material, with all the necessary maps like diffuse, normal, roughness, etc., generated for you. This is also a beta tool, accessible through Kaios Cosmos, and it is perfect when you need decent materials quickly, especially for background objects, or when you don't want to spend ages tweaking shaders. So in a nutshell, you will get a material that would normally take a lot of work to create, which like the other tools, let you work much faster. And if you have access to multiple computers, the distribution rendering improvements in Update 2 is actually a big deal. The new system dubbed the R2 lets you effortlessly spread a single render across many machines, so you can tackle huge scenes or tight deadlines with ease. And if you're wondering, the setup has been made simpler and more robust, so we can configure and control the network rendering right inside Blender's interface. And the best part, it scales more efficiently than before. So as you add more render nodes, you can see near linear speed boost thanks to smarter task distribution and caching. In other words, Render farm, even if it is just a couple of PCs at home, will chew through frames faster and handle heavy geometry or high resolution projects without the previous network bottlenecks. Also, as a Blender artist, you can now enjoy V Ray fur natively, which means creating things like fur, grass, and carpets is easier and faster. If you don't know, VRA4 is a procedural hair and fur system optimized for quick setup and rendering, so you can add realistic fur or dense grass without bogging it down. And this update brings efficient instancing and full control over the look. You can tweak strength length, thickness, direction, density, etc. to get just the right fluffiness or grass coverage. And despite being highly detailed, the fur renders with shorter render times and keeps your scene lightweight. As I said, it is great for things like furry characters rigs, or line scenes, and it works seamlessly with the AI Enhancer in addition to the Upscaler, which makes everything look convincing.
Another great enhancement is support for V-Ray scan materials. This gives you access to a huge library of physically scanned materials. Actually, thousands of real-world, untileable shaders captured with special scanning technology. In practice, this means you can drag and drop ultra-realistic materials, like metals, fabrics, plastics, you name it, right into your Blender scene, and they will look incredibly true to life because they are based on actual samples. You see, Kaios added over 3100 scanned materials, I mean to the Cosmos library, for V-Ray users. So there is a ton of them that you can choose from. So if you want something highly realistic, using a scan material can give your object an extra level of credibility without any complex setup, because it is literally scanned from life. Also, switching an existing Blender project from Cycles to V-Ray is much smoother now thanks to the Cycles to V-Ray material converter. You see, this tool lets you convert Cycles materials into V-Ray compatible materials. You can do it for the whole scene at once, or just for selected materials, and it will generate V-Ray shaders that are virtually identical in look to the original Cycles shaders. In other words, this means you don't have to manually rebuild all the materials from scratch when you decide to render in V-Ray. Just hit the convert option, and your materials come through looking the same, saving you a ton of time and setup. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.